Number one, marshmallows for breakfast, or what they call marshmallows. It's what they make the shapes out of. Animals, moon, stars, and clovers. Prizes, pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers. Today you can even skip the cereal flakes and just buy and eat a big bag of colored marshmallows. They sell them, fill your bowl, put milk on them, and eat a bowl of marshmallows for breakfast. Number two, your mascot has to have giant eyes. Food psychologists say big eyes increase trust with the brand. And that the characters look down an average of 10 degrees to make eye contact with shorter children. So that's why. Number three, toy inside. For decades, cereals used to come with a little surprise inside. We tracked down from all over North America little toys that came inside cereal boxes. Today it's rare. Instead, your prize is a scan code for your phone, which often leads to some crummy forced recipe like chicken with Fruit Loops? I mean, really? A scan code is just not the same as getting the swimming Fred Flintstone inside. Arm waving action. Wind him up, let him go in the tub. Or the tricks watch. Or the camera that squirts water. They're all in landfills now. But kids would get the cereal box home, tear it open, and feel around in the cereal for the prize inside toward the bottom, before their brothers and sisters could get it first. Treasures like the tiny magic eight ball to answer your questions. High quality musical instruments, a secret keeper to store your change. Even the free Captain Crunch scratch and sniff chart of nautical signal flags. Scratch this now, and decades later, it still smells like some form of orange. And if you and I are making our own cereal, no scan code for us. Ours would come with a real toy inside. My suggestion, sharks with laser beams. In fact, I'm gonna make my own cereal using the best ideas from everything I find. We'll start with laser beam shark toy inside. Quiet on the set, people. Everybody quiet. Stand by to cue Bob. Bob, coming to you. Ready, Bob, and action. There's a whole category of cereals sold just to make you poop. Hello. Bran is a thing. Fiber is a thing. There's even poop like a champion. The closest thing to colon blow we'll ever have. Cracklin' Oat Bran is 25% dietary fiber. Raisin Bran, 31%. Fiber 1, 65%. Poop like a champion, 79% daily fiber. If that won't get the job done, what will? Hello. Cut. Perfect, Bob. Nicely done. So, so far our cereal's gonna need marshmallows. That's why at Cutler Rose, we have people working down in the marshmallow mines. And the latest technology to get the marshmallows to the factory. Cutler Airship 4 features the Marshmallow Transportation Grabber. Something about Captain Crunch, here's something you're never going to be able to unsee. Captain Crunch's eyebrows are on his hat. Don't point. So to make our own cereal, we're going to need marshmallows, a prize, a mascot with big eyes. Hmm, too small. Bigger. Let's use you. Make the eyes point down. One of those marketing new labels. Every box has a bowl on it. And a hat with eyebrows. Okay, now we need a slogan. Cereals have slogans like Snap, crackle, pop, rice krispies. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Yahoo! I'm Cuckoo for Cuckoo Puffs! A is for apple, J is for checks, cinnamon toasty, apple nut, honeycombs big, yeah, 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 it's not small, no, no, no. Kicks. Kid tested. Mother approved. I know this one's taken. They're great! Yeah, but how about they're good? There we go. They're good! Yeah, no copyright problems there. They're good! 
Now let's steal the best tastes from real cereals. Which cereal is your MVP? You a candy cereal person? Because there's a lot of that. We'll put real ones in ours. There's Sour Patch Cereal, Jolly Rancher, Strange But True. Yep, I wouldn't kid you. Peeps. So we'll put those in ours. Cotton Candy Cereal, Bubblegum Cereal, and you know the little candy hearts with the sayings on them? Yep. Nutritious Cutler O's will have those, and Reese's too. But wait, because a lot of people eat cookies for breakfast. Looks like little cookies! But it's a cereal and part of a complete breakfast. Cookie Cereal, Chips Ahoy, Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch Cereal, Cookie Dough Cereal. We'll use some Oreos. And it's getting a little tall here, better flatten it out. So candy, cookies, and s'mores for breakfast. And then our friends in Vancouver, Canada found donut cereal. You know where Vancouver, Canada is, right? It's over here. Timbit cereal. Yeah. I'd say probably a 20. Okay, I'll say it's five. Very good. Uh, I would say a three. All right. Bye. 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 So I found Timbit cereal in New York, which led to Dunkin' Donut cereal. Sprinkled donut crunch, donuts, maple bacon donuts, and Dunkaroos. Of course, Krispy Kreme has their own cereal. And it turns out donut cereal is not so recent. frosty terrific snacking, too! Shaped like sugar frosty donuts. frosty old. They're good! Wendy's Frosty is a cereal. So I bet you think you've seen all the cereals. But, as those clowns say on TV... But wait, there's more! Oh, so much more! There's Twinkie cereal for breakfast. Cream-filled Philo cereal. Honey bun cereal. Pop-Tart cereal. What says breakfast like little Debbie brownies? Or Debbie's delicious oatmeal cream pies? These are ice cream cones you keep in the freezer. And of course, Drumstick makes a breakfast cereal. Sure, why not? Chicken and waffles? I like that chicken with the megaphone. Kind of like he's yelling, limited edition. Ladies and gentlemen, this announcement, the chicken and waffles are limited edition. But wait, there's more. There's Eggo cereal, churros, WWE wrestling cereal, Bootios, which is number one in positivity. Religious cereal. Movie cereal. There's cereal that's supposed to make noise. Snap, crackle, and pop. But if we do some ASMR... Crazy new brands all the time that even I don't know what they taste like. But here's a pro tip. Some taste like a combination of Kool-Aid mix, chalk, toothpaste, and marshmallows with milk on it. Not all, but a few. Just saying. And while we all know what goes best on cereal is usually milk... This is Tropicana Crunch, made to put orange juice on instead. But how about putting water on your cereal? That's what you do with these Kellogg's Insta Bowls. Just add water, they already have milk powder inside. And things are changing all the time, like cereal mascots. Clowns were once a big thing. Gee, I can't guess why they're mostly gone today. In the American market in the 1980s, sugar became the S word you couldn't say anymore in cereal names. So Sugar Bear. That's why they call me Sugar Bear. And Sugar Crisp. Oh, I can't get enough of that Sugar Crisp. In the U.S. today is Golden Crisp. I can't get enough Super Golden Crisp. What was Sugar Smacks? Kellogg Sugar Smacks. Dig em. Became Honey Smacks. Kellogg's Honey Smacks. A honey sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. Sugar Pops. Jim likes to start her hard work in breakfast with Kellogg's Sugar Pop cereal. Became Corn Pops. Corn Pops from Kellogg's is part of this complete breakfast. Then there's Apple Jacks that used to have a Jamaican dude with dreads, the Cinnamon. Here I come, I am Cinnamon. Recently, his dreads are mysteriously gone, likely because of concerns of stereotypes, says Wikipedia. And they changed his name from Cinnamon to, watch the M go from big to small, just Cinnamon. They also made the character of Bad Apple much less mean-looking. Back at the beginning, Apple Jacks had the Apple Guy. Not scary at all, right? And even called it the cereal bullies weren't allowed to eat. A bowl a day keeps the bullies awake. Apple Jacks will not be sold to bullies. The man who was always on the cream of wheat box has been removed for racial sensitivity. 
His name was Frank L. White. He was a master chef in Chicago, and he was photographed for the box in 1900. Is that going too far? I always respected him. Kind of not the same without him here. So stuff changes all the time. And because you've watched this video this far, this is what it's like when you put a marshmallow in the microwave. It gets really big. A few have noticed that some boxes have a secret message on the bottom. Yep, you just have to know it's there. The bottom of Peep cereal is the answer to a question. Little Debbie Oatmeal Cream Pies has trivia on the bottom. This box of Annie's Organic shows you how to decode the different types of recyclable numbers. I have to keep checking the bottom of boxes, even though very few boxes have a message on the bottom. Ask any psychologist did something about unpredictable rewards or intermittent reinforcement. Strange. I'm hungry now. We came up with this secret question for the top of the box. And the answer on the bottom of the box. But wait, there's more. There's something I call copycat cereals. Nothing wrong with different brands of cornflakes, but some cereals try to get a little too close to the original. Check this out. The originals are on the left, and the copycat boxes are almost exactly the same. Not exactly, but pretty close. When I was growing up, we were only allowed boring, healthy cereals. Oatmeal or Weetabix and cornflakes, and that's it. While all my friends ate the cool TV ad cereal that only dreams were made of. But every once in a while at the food store, I would slip one of these little boxes, the variety pack, into my mother's shopping cart and bury it under the other groceries so she'd be none the wiser. Sometimes her sharp radar noticed and she put it back on the shelf. But if I played my cards just right, the checkout person would ring it up and bag it before she had a chance to notice. Then when we got home, I'd volunteer to help bring the bags in so I could divert the goods to a secret clandestine location and open the boxes one by one. The normally forbidden variety pack boxes were like passports to exciting lands of untried and exotic flavors that I had seen ads for on TV a million times, but I could never get any. I mean, when your actual world is Weetabix and cornflakes, the mystery of Fruit Loops or Frosted Flakes and Apple Jacks, oh. I never did get what Special K is all about, though. It must be really good and really popular, because today there's about 1,200 different types of Special K on the shelves. Out of the 26 letters, what do you think is the most indispensable letter when it comes to making cereals? Yeah, cereals are mostly O's. All the companies copy each other. No one's a risk taker and makes all D's or F's. These are all shaped the same, from peanut butter Cheerios to Fruit Loops, Fruitful O's, Peeps, yep, O's, Honest O's, Apple Jacks, Disney Frozen 2, WWE Booty O's, Post Honey O's, Shopkins Cutie O's, Oreos, Post Maple Bacon Donuts are O's, so are Hostess Donuts. When Snoop Dogg announced his cereal, they're O's. But the evolutionary breakthrough as important as the monolith itself came with the literary possibilities you get from alphabets. Sure, alphabet soup had been around for a while. But the cereal alphabets in milk allowed me and my friends to spell out vulgar and rude words floating in the milk. But it's not as easy as it looks because there's not a lot of E's. I had to look through the whole box to be able to spell this out because there's two E's. Unlike Scrabble, where E's are plentiful, not so in this alphabets box. Now, I couldn't find a Z either at all, so they too must be worth 10 points. But wait, there's even an all-numbers cereal. Mix the two and you've got practically a full QWERTY keyboard floating in your milk to spell your message out. In this case, I'm rocking I81, U812. I can even do my bank account password, Dawn1983. There is also LOL surprise, but all it comes with is L's and O's. The other shapes are animals, balls, bits, Twinkies, churros, cookies, pillows, cubes, squares, dino footprints, egos, flakes, hearts, nuggets, puffs, rice, stars, fish, waffles, and wheels. We know this stuff because we bought 120 boxes and put them all in a spreadsheet. Hey, want to know the best marketing trick of all when making a new cereal? It's called... 
Fight Club. Your cereal can sell more when it has an adversary cereal. Bring out two cereals at the same time and advertise that they hate each other and ask people to try both of them and vote for which one is really best. Quisp versus Quake. Only Quisp survives today, as of the making of this video. It's really effective and breaks through the noise to say now there's new cutler and its enemy, Joey Bag of Donuts Flakes. These two play tricks on each other and they hate each other, so try them both and decide who's best. The most famous example was the Monster Cereals, Frankenberry versus Count Chocula. And they kept adding frenemies till there were a bunch. But wait, there's more. Hello? I'm sorry. The number you have reached, but wait, there's more, is not in service. Just kidding. There is more. So wait. But wait, there's more. An entire back of cereal boxes usually contain activities and games. You can color the Crayola cereal box. There's literally hundreds of hours of games, trivia, mazes, find the hidden picture, fun facts, and dad jokes that few people ever really look at anymore, since there's the phone. Before the phone, people used to play this stuff. Now they sit at the table, eating, on their phone, and few people actually play these little activities. I mean, you probably have once or twice. Do you still? So our cereal cutler rose is going to need a couple of cool activities. Find the rabbit. Good luck. Ooh, here's the second. Connect the dot. And we'll include this one. The terror maze. They're good. Right now you can buy cereal brand lip gloss and makeup, popcorn, pancake syrup, pancake mix, cereal candy, cereal milk, and then ice cream made of cereal milk, cereal brand yogurt, hot cocoa, snacks, cookie dough to bake, cake mix to make, and best of all, underwear. Cereal brand boxer shorts in every style, in every size. Go ahead to your next business meeting wearing one of these under your suit or dress for that extra feeling of snap, crackle, and pop. And look at this, even the side of the underwear box has games on it. Or are you too busy on your phone? Yep, the magnificent cereal aisle. What kind of cereal person are you? What do you rock as a late night snack or for breakfast? Tell everyone in the comments. No judgment, we're your friends. You know, 120 boxes and we didn't even scratch the surface. We also made a short little video just showing all those toys that came in cereal boxes we collected from all over the US. Click here if you'd like to watch it.